M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So, I thought I'd show this um, ATS25X1 receiver. Now, this has come out in 2022, it's now August, and it's absolutely fantastic value, if you ask me. It's a HF receiver, it also has broadcast receive and is touch screen, full color, has a couple of menu screens here. So let's just go through it. So firstly, we'll start a very good quality VFO here and it just feels nice, you know, for, for what, you know, for what you pay for this, 90 pound delivered in the UK, it just feels nice. Now there's no antenna on it at this moment. I'll just, I'll add an antenna at the end. Let's just go through the settings. So obviously the VFO, you can turn it and it changes the frequency. You can push it and it changes the volume up and down like so and push it again, hold it and it takes you straight to this function, which is the BFO. So it's sort of like a fine tune, um, you know, selection. So and then you've got the step. There you go. One, two, five, one, three, three hertz there. So and then we've got the bandwidth. 0 0.5, 1.0, 1 1.2, 2.2, 3 and 4. And then just tap the screen to go back. Then we've got frequency input. So type the, the frequency 7, 1, 0, 0. And then enter or delete and clear. You've got a mute button here at the top. We'll keep that on for now. Volume here if you want or you push the VFO. AGC, I will say that I don't see a big difference with the AGC, a small difference, I suppose. Let's just unmute. I mean, there's nothing connected, so it's hard to say really, but. The speaker's good quality. It's not amazing, but it's good quality. You can plug in headphones and they do sound good. You've got your attenuator there, which I haven't really used that. And then your mode, LSB, USB, AM, CW. There is a selection in here. We'll see if we can see it later. For FM as well. You've got the ham bands, so the obvious ones is 40 meters and 20 meters, you know, just the usual ham bands, very good. And also beacon that stands for, and I've not really used it, but this is what I get. Now it's, it's, it says beacon, so back to ham bands 40. Okay, <clears throat> frequency bandwidth step ham. BFO and band ATT. So let's go to the next menu. On this one, you've got your up and down searches. Hold, hold it down and it searches. You've got this scan feature, which is pretty neat. It will fill the screen up. And when the screen's full, when your antennas connect, you'll have all your little peaks for your antenna. You can pause it and then you can, you can move it to where, where you want to listen. And it works really well. You've got step there as well and then you've got scale different scales so it's pretty good go back there um, set up so this is that thing where I said about FM start 64 now there is a switch on the back which I'll show you now um, for FM now flick that across and it gets you onto FM flick it to the right it's um, shortwave then you've got your headphone jack there BNC nice solid strong BNC as well on off USB charge and that is another incredible thing about this radio uh, and it, the battery the battery inside is, is big so it lasts a long time um, so let's go to the next menu you've got information here all kinds of information I'm sure this all means something to someone all the different parameters and there, there are firmware changes to this as time goes on so tap the screen for back and then you've got chip information here Again, part numbers, firmware, all kinds of all kinds of stuff there. Tap the screen for back. So broadcast radio. Um, if I push FM, there's some preset radios here. You've also got this unusual retro star, and it's pretty good. You might actually pick some stuff up here because even with no antenna, it's strong, isn't it? So let's get it loud. On into the present with all the context that we're aware of you know you are it, that sounds good doesn't it assess them from a modern day perspective turn that down and then you can go back now you've got band look at all that night winter night what's all that i don't know what any of that is mostly night mostly day vhf i mean i don't think we're going to get two meters do you 
be funny. I just, I'm, I'm actually curious to know how high it does go. VHF. I mean, it's a, a chip inside for the um, <clears throat> VHF part. It's a, it's, a, it's a very commonly used chip, actually, um, in radios, you know, broadcast radios. I'm just going to go to the limit, just so we know. They're 87 megahertz, so it's obviously no good for VHF or definitely UHF City. You've got these different... So we've got a memory section here as well. Tap memo. And there's, I don't know, it could be about 100. But if you want to add one, just click add. And it will save it. And it will do it with um, all the bands as well, including HF. Let's go back. So I think that's about it, really. I think it showed you up, down, scan, FM. So, yeah, thanks uh, for watching. I mean, I just think it's excellent value. You get a lot for your money. And, you know, you think about a radio like this. If it was made 10 years ago. It will cost a lot of money and be a lot bigger as well. I'll just show you the size wise. Let me just show you the um, FT5 here. Come back. And you'll see. Get my hand out of the way. You'll see um, that it's very small. Look. It's a small device, but, you know, it really packs a punch. And I think at £90, it's a great toy. You can take it. Pretty much take it anywhere you want, and it's got a battery built in. I mean, come on, you know, it's got a battery built in, and and as far as I can see, the battery works really well. Uh, lasts for ages. Good strong BNC so, and USB charging, which is what everyone wants these days, and a good quality VFO. So I'll be reviewing the ATS20 as well soon. Uh, which is the OLED screen version of this. Virtually the same, but you don't get the flashy screen. And this is, remember, a touch screen. And I'm sure there's a lot more to this. And look out at the um, for any future firmware updates. So 73, thanks for watching my channel. Please remember to subscribe and like. All the best. M0 FXB, quick one. We've got the ICOM 705 on top. And the little ATS25 times one, the latest receiver, HF receiver with broadcast radio, uh, plugged into my uh, G5RV. But unfortunately, the conditions are really bad. So I'm going to have to come back when they're better. You've got that one there. Very weak signal on 7127, and which I'm definitely not picking up on the... Um, on the ATS receiver, which is a shame. I'll just show you the ATS receiver a bit closer. Just here. So it is HF and broadcast, touch screen as well. And lots of menus here, mute, volume, ADC, HT, and they all work and the touch screen is very responsive. These are 90 pound delivered in the UK. You've got ham bands that you can just select like so. There's a BNC connector on the back. Uh, if you go next, you've got LSB. You tap the screen for back. Uh, you can do an actual sweep. You go next and go scan, and it scans the whole band. So let's just get the antenna on it a minute. Okay, the antenna's on. Let's choose 40 meters, because that seems to have a tiny bit of activity. So we'll go back. Then we'll choose, go back again handband we'll choose 40 so we're on 40 we can turn it up by pushing the VFO but there is a selector on the front as well just turn down the 705 let's see if we can find some activity so we'll go next and then we'll go scan and what it does it does go quiet when it does this scan as it finds any activity I'll just show you the back of the radio while it's scanning so there's the back, got a BNC, you've got USB charger, you can select shortwave or FM broadcast radio, on off, and there's you can plug your, head, your headphones or speaker into it, I'm not sure how loud it is yet. So that's the back, it's a very small unit. Just show you the size, remember this is £1,400 now, 90 delivered, um, the screen's very nice on it. Okay, so when it's finished, you go pause. You can change step and scale here. 
pause and then you can move to the high point but we did hear something then on 7160 we can fine tune by tapping the screen but we have to come out go to this menu then we can tap the, that part there the, we can fine tune I think he is on 7160 so let's just see what the 705 picks up on 7160 so on the 705, it's, it's actually not a massive difference. Give it a chance to talk. Go again, go again, Peter, go again, please, Peter. Let's turn it up. Got another station there. We'll check that one out. We just need, wish the conditions were better. I'm sure it'll kick in nice okay, later. You can hear him talking to Peter. Let's go back down to the receiver.